Hey, listen, I don't know about you, but we were all shocked to hear the news. Jackson State could be playing in their last Southern Heritage Classic. So we thought what better time than now to take a quick walk down memory lane about how this matchup got started in the first place. You're always going to see a big smile with the Southern Heritage Classic. We're talking 32 years of smiles that have lit up Memphis since the early 90s. The goal always was to try to play in Memphis. Entrepreneur and Memphis native Fred Jones Jr. says the rivalry between the two schools, Tennessee State and Jackson State Universities, grew year by year. That's when he says the idea hit him. Why not give it a home in his hometown? We were able to create something, a vehicle, to keep this rivalry together, presented as in a way that fans would want to come each and every year, and create a signature event for Memphis. And just like that, the Southern Heritage Classic was born. You can have these ideas and have these dreams, but somebody has to buy into it, and they bought into it. The first game kicked off in 1990, and since the Classic was created, both teams have gone head-to-head -head against each other 28 times. Tennessee State leads that series 17-11. to Hey, Fred, man, I'm ready for the Classic. What's happening with the Classic? We. We're doing stuff with the family, the, the friends, the co-workers, all of that is going to, and it makes you feel real good about that, that you created something that, that's special. This year, they're expecting 45,000 people to show up and support their favorite teams. The Classic is expected to bring in about $25 million to the city of Memphis from different events throughout the week. But outside of the money, it's the community impact Jones says makes it all worth it. All our efforts is on this year and for this to be the best that they can be. And of course, the big question on everybody's mind is, what does the future of the Southern Heritage Classic look like? Well, you heard Joan say it just now. They're focusing one year at a time. They're making this year as good as it can be. However, we do believe this will be the last year Jackson State University completes in this Classic. Of course, if this is the last week, you can expect a whole bunch of cool events to participate in before they go. Starting tomorrow night, you can catch the Just Heal Bro Tour that's happening over at the Michael D. Rose Theater. The classic concert is also happening tomorrow night, and that's happening over at the Orfield. And then Friday night, head out to the classic Funk Fest that's happening over at the Lander Center. And then, of course, game day Saturday. There is so much for you to do Saturday, starting in the morning with the classic tailgate, or you can always hit up Penny Hardaway's Golf Classic, both of those happening Saturday morning. After that, of course, you got the classic parade, the battle of the bands, the fashions and brunch, and then, of course, the big game, the Southern Heritage Classic. Of course, you can find more information on both of these events later on on our website, abc24.com.